Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand load sharing in BGP. Actually, today we will understand load sharing with BGP in dual home to single ISP. As you can see over here in this topology, I have two lines from same ISP. First of all, let me make you familiar with this topology, guys. Here you can see this is my router. This is my uh, a private router, edge router, R1. This router is connected with LAN. This is my local area network. Here I am running network 192.168.10.0/24. Okay, I have two P router. This is P1 router and this is P2 router. Provider edge router. And both provider edge router belongs to same ISP, right? Suppose this is service provider and these two router are of service provider this is p1 pe1 and this one is p2 here i am running ip 1.1.1.2 here i am running ip 1.1.1.1 here i am running ip 2.2.2.1 and here i am running ip 2.2.2.2 now hope this topology is clear see behind isp I am running this network 10.1.1.0 or you can consider there are lots of network running behind ISP 8.8.8 .8 or any network okay just for example I have run this network 10.1.1.0 24 okay now if we don't have BGP then how you will configure this router guys how you will configure your edge router here you will configure default route one default route towards you know p1 and one default route towards p2 but router one will use only one default route either towards p1 or towards p2 so let me show you guys from the scratch on router number one suppose you don't have bgp how you will configure router one here you will configure default route you will configure nat not nat pad port address translation so your configuration will be like this ip route after that 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and let's say towards pe1 i have configured one default route towards pe1 so now router one will forward all traffic of lan user to p1 Suppose this link will goes down, then you have to modify configuration. You have to configure one default route towards P2 router. Or you can configure both default route with higher AD value. So let me configure one more default route over here. IP route 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 sorry 0 and towards this is let's say p2 and here i have set ad value what 10 so router number one will install only one default route in their routing table which one router will install in the routing table router will install this one in the routing table because this have the lower ad value by default ad value for default route is what one and here we have set 10 so in the routing table of router one there will be one default route 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash 0 and it is reachable via p1 router so router 1 will forward all traffic to p1 but whenever this link will goes down or this port will goes down router will remove this default route from their routing table and it will install this from running configuration because in the running configuration of a router 1 there are two default route but in the routing table there is only one default route so whenever this link will goes down router will install 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 towards p2 yes or no ad value 10 and it will start sending all traffic to towards p2 router but here we cannot achieve load balancing yes or no like this we cannot achieve load balancing either i can forward all traffic on this link or either i can forward all traffic on this link but if you want to achieve load balancing over here then you can configure what bgp okay so in this video actually i am going to show you with the help of bgp how we will achieve load balancing how we will share the load on the link on these two link 
ओके गाइज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट्स बिगेन द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग बी between isp and your edge router between your customer edge router and provider edge router you don't need to configure nat then okay so i am not going to configure nat simply i am going to configure what bgp so let me take you on router number 1 guys first here let me check the ip configuration so ip interface brief so i have not configure any ip address on router number 1 so first of all i am going to configure ip so config t host name let's say r1 and then interface f0/0 say no set and ip address is 1.1.1.1 submit mask is 255 255 255.252 because i am using slash 30 interface f1/0 then say no set and ip address here will be 2.2.2.1255255255.252 and let me check connectivity am i able to ping 1.1.1.2 from here yes i'm able to ping that means ip configuration on service provider router is done let me verify also on p1 router so ip interface brief exclude unassign done am i running any protocol so ip protocol guys so yes i am running bgp 5000 over here right so if i want to check the how many command i have configure on this router what command i can run so run section bgp so i have run bgp 5000 and what is the meaning of this command guys let me know in comment what is the meaning of this command okay let me know in the co comment if you know what is the meaning of this command if you don't know the meaning of this command let me know in comment i will tell you okay after that i have run network command as well here and never 1.1.1 remote as is 100 so let me check so ip bgp summary neighbor so no neighbor ship is idle i think i need to configure bgp on router number 1 okay so p1 configuration is done let me verify p2 configuration so ip interface brief okay ip configuration is done and so run section bgp so router bgp 5000 network this one okay and neighbor 2.2.2.1 remote as is 100 fine now i need to configure bgp on router number 1 only a router bgp 100 and say neighbor 1.1.1.2 and remote as is remote as is 5000 after that neighbor 2. 2.2.2.2 whose remote as is also 5000 now let me verify bgp neighbor so ip bgp summary so okay you can see neighbor ship is up and router number 1 have received one prefixes from both neighbor actually how to read neighbor data like this you can see one neighbor is 1.1.1.2 version bgp version of neighbor is 4 es number which is running on neighbor is 5000 how many message it have received from their neighbor is 5 and how many message this router have sent to their neighbor is 4 the table version is 2 after that how many prefix i have received from this neighbor is 1 in the same way there is one more neighbor 2.2.2 and bgp version of this neighbor is also 4 remote as is 5000 how many message i have received from this message from this neighbor 5 how many message i have sent to this neighbor 6 and how many prefix i have received to this neighbor is 1 now if you will check bgp table so ip bgp so you can see in the bgp table there is 
टू पाथ राउटर वन इज रिसीविंग दिस प्रिफिक्स टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर नेटवर्क फ्रॉम टू डॉट टू डॉट टू डॉट टू ऑल्सो एंड फ्रॉम वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट टू ऑल्सो बट फ्रॉम टू डॉट टू डॉट टू डॉट टू इट इज ऑनली वैलिड नोट बेस्ट एंड फ्रॉम वन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट टू इट इज वैलिड एज वेल एज बेस्ट स्टार साइन मीन्स गाइज वैलिड एंड ग्रेटर देन साइन मीन्स वॉट बेस्ट सो एज यू नो राउटर Install in their routing table only those prefixes from VZP table which are valid as well as best. So router one is going to install only this route in the routing table, not this one because this one is only valid, right? So always keep in mind VZP router install only those prefixes in their routing table which are valid as well as best, and only those prefixes VZP router will advertise to their neighbor okay if in the bgp table if there is a route which are only valid so router is not going to install that route in their routing table and bgp router is not going to advertise that route to their neighbor so if you will check bgp table so ip sorry routing table so ip route bgp you can see there is only one route that means whatever traffic router 1 will send to isp it is going to send through 1.1.1.2 that means router will router will use only this link yes or no but i want to use both link i want to share the load so what i will do actually by default bgp does not support load balancing here on if you will run here on router number 1 one command that is so ip protocol so ip protocol so here you can see maximum path is 1 so router can install max to max one path in their routing table by default but in the top in the bgp table we are able to see both both path is available so what we need to do here actually we need to change the maximum path so here i am going to set maximum path 2 so router bgp 100 and say maximum path is 2 and now if you will check bgp table so ip bgp here you can see the m symbol right and m is nothing but multi path so now router number 1 will install both path in their routing table if you will check so ip route bgp you can see router have installed both path in their routing table and it is going to perform what load balancing now so this is how we can share load with bgp in you know dual home to single isp in sec in in next video i will show you you know another scenario as well when we have uh, connectivity from different isp in that scenario how you will configure bgp okay guys but this is all for today if you learn something from this video make sure you will hit on like button guys if you have not subscribe my channel till please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye